My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can get our form responses live to SharePoint. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Power Automate and automation. Let's get started. We go to Microsoft Forms and we create a simple survey, so new form. We can call this Anders Courses Survey. So let's say that I provide courses and I want to uh, create a simple survey. So we'll click a new and will be a text. This one will say just enter your name. Then we'll add another one and they can rate my course. So a name and a rating. So uh, enter your rating. Overall rating maybe. Like this and that is just from one to five stars. So that's it, that's our survey. So we click share. We will choose that anyone can see it and then we'll copy the link here. Now we will go down to our SharePoint here. We'll create a SharePoint list in where we can store the name and the rating. So go to SharePoint and click new. We'll create a list inside a group and we can call this survey results this and we'll click create and we wait a few seconds and we'll add some columns to this list so we got a title that title could be like some sort of uh, maybe the date or something and then we could add a new column for the name and another one for the rating so we will add a new column we'll just say a single line of text and this one could be um, member name like this then we'll click save and a member name column was added. Then we will add in a, another column for our rating. That is from one to five, like this. So now we created our SharePoint list and we can go down to uh, Microsoft Power Automate to create a uh, automation flow that will get our form responses live into SharePoint. So click create. And we will choose a trigger-based automation, so take automated flows here. Uh, the flow name could be yeah, just survey flow. And we can see that uh, the first trigger is when a new response is submitted in Microsoft Forms. We just pick that one, or otherwise we could have searched for it. So click that one, and then click create. So now we created our flow. The first thing we need to do that's really important, click the three dots here, and we'll click settings and have the split off. Then we'll click done. We uh, should now pick a form idea. So click the drop down, and we can see here that we got uh, two uh, surveys that we could uh, choose from. So if two form ideas, we'll just do the honest courses survey because that was the one we created. Now we will add a new and we will choose an apply to each. So each time a new response, a form response is submitted, then we want to do something. So we will have an apply to each. So search for that. Apply to each here. And we will choose the value that we get up from here when a new response. So we'll just mark here and we can see that our only solution in dynamic content is a list of response notification. That's fine. Then we want to get the response details. So add an action. Search for get response details here in Microsoft Forms, like this. Our form idea, that's still the Anders Courses survey. And then we can have the unique response. And again, that's the list of response notification, response idea. So take that one. Now we could start to create items. So what we'll do is that we will add in another action. So create item like this, and we'll create a SharePoint item. So click that one here. And our SharePoint side, so you, you'll see here that uh, we we have nothing in the drop down. We need to add the SharePoint uh, side ourselves. So go to SharePoint, then up here you will have the address, like Anders Courses, like this. Copy it, and pick into custom value, and share, and paste it in, like this. So now we got our site address and then the list name 
You can pick that one. That's the survey results, right? Then we will wait a few seconds and then we can see title and the member name. That was the one we added and the rating. So the title, we choose that this should just be the submission time, so that'll be unique identifier. The member name, that's the, uh, where uh, the customer entered his or her name, enter name. And then the rating is the rating. So we will enter your overall rating like this. Now we can start it because we actually created the flow, uh, the whole uh, live update our SharePoint site with the results from our form. So what we'll do is that we'll click save. Then we click test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. And now we can see that uh, Power Automate is listening on um, if we got a new response to our form. So let's try to make a response and see that we actually get this list updated. So we go to forms, then we will copy this link. We'll make a new tab, paste in the unique link, and now we can answer our survey. So my name is Hans Jensen. Enter your overall rating. Very good, five star. Then we will click submit. And we can see here in Power Automate that um, our flow is running and the survey results updated immediately. That's it, that's how easy it is. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Power Automate and automation in general. Have a good day, bye bye.